again, because I'm getting pretty used to seeing it from CNZ. Definitely. Let's. Uh, oh, they are getting underway. Wonderful stuff. I was just about to say, let's get this underway. And, and they, you know, as I said, that they do. So uh, we're going to be on CNZ from the start, picking up that plasma gun, going to grab that yellow armor, and Baxter with the rocket opening is going to do a lot of damage to CNZ. Now he's in. Awesome. He's going to be able to get the mega. That could have been an absolutely huge moment for Baxter. Unfortunately, not able to connect with the mid-air rocket. CNZ going to pick up the mega and the red armor. I have no idea how Baxter let that happen, but nevertheless, it's an immense start for CNZ right now. Yeah, he managed to get himself a load of uh, items, and he's got himself a couple of the plasma gun is doing most of the damage at the moment, but Baxter just keeps bringing him down every time CNZ has a chance of getting up again. 106 health, 11 armor, the rockets are raining down, CNZ still needing to get that weapon himself, and uh, he's got an option, he can go, wow, he's even going to get that lightning gun finish onto Baxteen. So the Estonian picking up the first frag, this is great news for him. He might even pick up one more here, but he runs out of lightning gun ammunition, and he's going to have to think of another plan if he wants to take down uh, Baxteen. He will indeed. I mean, one frag in the lead, pretty good. Backseam right now. He's not too stacked. It's quite even right now. But the weapon advantage is not is uh, you know to be backseam. Got that rocket launcher. Here comes the fight though. Backseam trying to get out of that choke point. Not going to happen. C and Z got him locked up nice and tidy at the LG yellow side of the map. And Baxter has to be quite inactive right now because he's not got a lot to work with. Everything is up for grabs for CNZ right now. Baxter wow, trying excellent. to move along the lower levels to get those item times, but CNZ going to deny him. CNZ with a good rocket jump up to use that advantage with that lightning gun. But unfortunately, with oh, he's rocketing himself. This is going south quite quickly, going all going pear shaped. CNZ's initial plan was great, but the execution not so great. That could have been so good oh, for him. No. He goes for the grenade. What on earth is he doing? He's definitely got the confidence at the moment. It's like, yeah, I've got 2 0 up on Lost World against Baxteen. You know, only people people usually dream of such things. And now he's managed to find a bit of health, a bit of armor. He's looking like he wants the blood a bit more. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, a couple of good rockets and going aggressive again. He's not going for the mega health like Baxteen expected. Amazing play we're seeing here as he gets himself to almost 200 health and with the yellow armor spawning very soon. CNZ is looking so good at the moment. Yeah, the great thing there about that frag at the Mega. Oh, but here Whoa. we go. Baxteen with the return of Plasma. I was going to say, CNZ, great work. You know, you read Baxteen's stack. You knew when to take the oh, five bars. Yeah, CNZ rocket. from nowhere grabs the rocket launcher, drops down behind Baxteen like a little ninja in CNZ, and just taking Baxteen down from behind. And now, his Baxteen again is under a lot of pressure. Going to okay. take it taken down by the machine gun of CNZ. CNZ doing some remarkable plays right now. Baxteen has remarkable plays of his own, but CNZ is taking the lead, taking the, he's in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, and uh, Baxin's got to be thinking, he's like, hey, my reputation's on the line at the moment. I am the Lost World player. That is where I managed to get all my fame and glory for so far. And CNZ's got to be feeling good by going up the bounce pad with Baxin's LG. It's surely going to be a flag for the Dutchman. And he does manage to make it. We've got three a difference at the moment. But Baxin's still not on the most tidy of stacks. But with red armor ages away, CNZ just hanging around, it's going to be another easy frag. And I feel like he gave that one away just a little too easily. Yeah, are we going to see the back scene jump? That's what everyone's wondering. <laughs> uh, when we see the back scene jump, back scene jump, if you don't know what it is, I'll let you know. And oh, here comes back scene on these upper areas. So important. This is about positioning right now. Back scene's taking up positioning, cutting off his opponent's pass controlling space, controlling where his opponent can move. That is what Baxine was doing before dropping down to those items. Very you know, important stuff to do in Baxine. A very smart player knows what he has to do on this map. He's two frags behind. He's trying to get every edge he can. Oh, this is a nice little trap here. Wondering whether CNZ is going to come through, you know, choose that top area. He is there waiting above the mega. There's CNZ. Baxine was correct. And CNZ not with the... Oh, if only CNZ knew exactly when the mega was spawning, he could have punished Baxine for being early, but not the case there. Yeah, I mean, the route, they, they were both at the top, and Baxin got the perfect initial rocket, which uh, made it CNZ flee. So well done for CNZ to fleeing, but he's going to have to hold his life here, and it's not looking good for him. Baxin bringing it to a one frag game already. I mean, th this scoreline you don't often see happen so quickly on a lost world, but these guys being aggressive, and Baxin doesn't want to be behind for long. He doesn't want to have to chase until the last couple of seconds. Taking that red armor, hitting a rocket through a the little bridge, CNZ, oh. wow, excellent shots, and Dark, the shotgun finish. Stuff.
That was, yeah, that was the other pitch. Oh, oh. CNZ with the mid air. Rock in. Oh, oh Backstein with a return of his own. Another mid air. Mid airs all around. Why as Backstein going to grab that yellow and that shaft. Is in a better position with more armor. And CNZ only got the shotgun. He's shown some good work with it before. But I don't think he's, it's going to be enough right now. He's going to have to back away and just. To, oh, no, but Backstein is there, ready for him. After taking that red, Backstein read the situation perfectly. Oh. But the shotgun from CNZ is remarkable. Amazing stuff. He's even going to pick up another one of the shotgun. I was thinking down in that plasma room, is he going to choke? He's back seen 20 health left and the shotguns are missing, but CNZ pulls it through and now he's getting away again with this frag lead. And uh, with uh, four and a half minutes to go, Baxin basically just got to rework all these uh, masterful things that he's been doing in the first half of the game and do it in again in the second half. CNZ is on a big, one of the biggest stacks that we've seen recently. And uh, he's, he's looking in great shape. I think uh, Baxin, he's got to control his nerve at the moment and he might not be used to doing that against CNZ. Great rocket, looking for another. CNZ not going to chase, maybe a second thought there, but it's not going to be. Backstein takes away that red armor. He's not going to get that 50 health level as CNZ denies it. But Backstein suddenly taking everything. I, I think CNZ has uh, one of those cases of uh, over committing to a fight and uh, really failing in them and now being on the run. This, this is looking... Um, Dodgy, dangerous uh, are the words that are coming to mind at the moment for the our Estonian player. A very high scoring, uh, I say blood run, a very high scoring lost world game right now. Three thrags uh, in the advantages. CNZ got three frags to play with, with you know, three and a half minutes left in the game. CNZ creeping around, not, many health, not much health uh, there really, only 100, but no armor to work with at all. And here comes Baxin on the upper areas. He's going to be hunting CNZ right now. He's got to be finding the frags. He's got absolutely all the items he could ever hope and dream of having and just operating from that high position, try to cut his opponent off. There he finds CNZ finally with the LG CNZ going to oh. fall immediately with absolutely nothing. He's so weak and Baxi is going to push on this momentum. Needs two more out of his control. Two more. That's all he needs. Can he get oh, one more? But no, CNZ with the plasma gun. It's going to give the complete denial of that frag for Baxin there. Baxin's got to be feeling pretty bad after that one, Zoot. Wow, and I can't believe CNZ managed to pull it out. Plasma Gun being the most powerful weapon in the game, but the hardest to hit. CNZ has pulled out the clutch when he really needed to. He's managing to keep that score difference at about a, a three a difference. And he's now managing to stack up, stack up again on some kind of armors. There are shards behind it that might look a little bit more a little bit appealing. The red looking more appealing. He's not going to be able to not be granted oh, it. 26 no. health. He's kind of trapped here. Oh, <laughs> He's oh no. Go down. That rocket that he splashed himself back with, if that had actually hit the floor, he would have killed Backstein, but here's Backstein oh, now. Oh, my God. Oh, puts CNZ down to 6 HP. What a <laughs> lost world this is. You don't see this every day on this map. This is just like a, this is like a hectic game. Unbelievable yeah, stuff. Two frags of difference. This could be anyone's game right now. Backstein with the mega, with the yellow and the shaft. He's got a, a definite, a tangible, a feasible advantage right now. But <laughs> CNZ has just thrown that advantage in his face and just crushed it with nothing before. Can he do it again? Here he is with a shaft out. Oh, shaft onto shaft. Backstein gets caught, takes up too much damage. And CNZ oh. again just turns it around. Why? How? How oh. is it possible that CNZ has the answers somehow? Oh my god, he, he's just pulling it out when you least expect it. That, that's it really. Backstein going to be aggressive with a plasma gun. He is going to go, CNZ is going to go down. Backstein not overly strong at the moment, but he's definitely with a minute and a half to go. It's capable. He's capable of doing it. Can CNZ do it though? Can he pull it out when no one expects it is what is on my mind at the moment. Plasma gun coming through, but Backstein is going to pick up the frag. CNZ's got to maybe think of running at the moment or hiding somewhere. There is very little he can do now when Backstein is on his tail. Plasma coming oh through again. Oh my god, it's so good. So How is it so, so good? Close. Someone said in the chat, it's not about uh, people respect the plasma damage, but not the plasma aim. And I think that's a really good insight because Vaccine's been getting demolished by the plasma. And here is CNZ again with the plasma. Oh. 46 health, but six remaining. Gets that mega just oh in god. time. And oh my god, Vaccine's so weak. The plasma of CNZ is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything quite like that. And here is CNZ. Oh, he falls down. He oh no. Slow. How does it happen? Tied game. 40 seconds left. 
This is absolutely unreal. If CNZ didn't drop then, he would have got away and he would have had at least another 45 seconds to at least try and run or pick up some kind of health and armor. Now well, he's looking for the overtime because even though Baxin's not got the most amazing stack, he's the one who's closest to picking up a frag with all these weapons. 20 seconds CNZ's got till he has any kind of sign of having some kind of safety, even though that's not a word in his vocabulary oh. at the moment. Red armor is up. Is Baxine going to pick it? Yeah, he does decide to go for it. Maybe he's kind of given up on thinking, okay, I'll get the frag before overtime. And he's willing to play this two extra mids. So, overtime, guys. Oh. We're going to see it. Who's going to pick up this frag? CNZ in a very nasty position. Baxine is going to get their first frag here in the extra two minutes of game time. But CNZ has a plasma gun. Who cares? Is that what the stack oh. is? Oh, unfortunately, not going to go his way that time. Too trapped there, but Plasma with CNZ, that is some scary stuff. I'll have nightmares about that. And here's CNZ once again. Oh, oh seven health, actually. Pretty good damage there, but three thrags and a minute and a half remaining in this overtime. And CNZ is looking truly grim for him now. One rocket, he needs another good one, but oh Baxi is going to be the one that picks it up, and as he should do, and he will pick it up as CNZ forfeits